All right, everybody, I'm just gonna show you how to quickly bead this rope. So we're gonna take our two ends, and if it's hard for you to get the thread through, I encourage you to cut it at an angle so that the thread, uh, there's a point created in the thread that it would be easier for the needle to go through. So I'm gonna get as close to the edge as possible, double knot, and here we go. So I'm gonna take this string and we'll go right through the middle of, right, oopsies, see, I didn't, uh, it went right through, so that just tells me that it's not thick enough at the end and I'm just gonna add another knot because of that. All right. So I'm gonna start with my needle and the rope and it's just gonna go right into the middle there. And I'm gonna pull it up just so it's nice and snug at the end and this knot here will secure that for me so it stays in place. So I'm just gonna go through this rope a couple times so that the thread is secure around the base of this rope. And I'm just gonna take 10 beads once it's secure at the end here and I'll be able to know because it cannot move. So I'm going to put on 10 beads. So five, 10, we'll look something like that. And I am just going to use my left hand to spin It might be the right hand for um, people who are left-handed that the right hand will spin the rope. So you just spin. And right where the bead touches the rope is we're gonna put this needle right through there. And then I'm going to go in through the last three beads just to secure that line of that line of 10. And then I'm going to do it again. So taking another 10 beads. Letting them hit the string and then just spinning using your extra hand there to And then just right in front of that. So it's just ending right there and I'm gonna stick my needle right through the middle. And then I'm gonna just going in through these last three to four beads here, depending on where your needle comes out. And then continuing on. So I'll do one more with you before I show you how to thread and knot and retie once your thread is low. So we just continue spinning. And then eventually it's gonna look like this once you fill up the rope. And then it'll look like a little pretty bracelet when you're finished. So for now, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like to tie off. So if your thread gets short and there's not enough space to put more beads and to um, tie a knot, that's when you'll know it's too short. So I'm just going to put it through 
the string just a little higher than the beads. So I'm gonna go, it, I just came out of that last bead, my thread is hanging, and I'll just go through the, the rope, and then it'll come out, and I'm just gonna use, just do a regular knot, create a little bit of a loop here, stick my needle through, and then pull, and that knot should sit right on the rope. And to restart, I thread my needle again, closest to the edge as possible, and I'm just going to sneak in through those last couple beads. So there's two beads here I'm gonna go through just to start that chain again before I continue to add on. So I'll take another 10. Pushing all those beads down and then twisting. And securing that and then entering these last couple beads to reinforce this last strand before I add 10 more. And then it will eventually look like this. Please let me know if you need any more help or if I can um, simplify any part of this. I cannot wait to see all of your creations. Take care.